Hello, Sam from Tool Hut. Today, we have a 2011 Chevy Silverado. The shop has replaced the PCM. It is a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. We're going to use the Ace Delco site to program it. We're also going to use the top down scanner to do the injectors. Stand by. Okay, so first thing you need to do is you need to log into your AC Delco account. You have to have a subscription to AC Delco to do this legitimately. So once you're logged in here, you can access your subscription or buy a van or however you do yours. I'm going to choose service programming systems and then start SPS. For full disclosure, there are parts of this video that are sped up. I'm just going to run the Java here. And we're going to choose the J2534 tool. We have used it previously on this laptop, so we're going to re choose Replace and Program. The key is on, engine is off. It is a 2011 Chevrolet 3500 cutaway or incomplete or whatever you're going to call it. It is a Silverado front. So you have to tell it it's a Silverado. It's not going to pull the VIN because it, it is a remanufactured PCM. So we're going to type in the VIN. And no, I don't type that fast, so that part is sped up for sure. We're going to hit next. We're going to choose the ECM engine control module programming. It's going to tell me to replace the controller. It's already in. They actually sent it back for a core. I always ask them to keep the old one, but I guess the core was uh, pretty substantially priced on this one, so... And I like to kind of scroll through them and look at the different changes, stuff like that. Um, the, every check mark got a different calibration number. So we can see that quite a few of them change, or they're all different. So I'm just going to hit next. comes up with a summary page here. It tells me to make sure I follow all the service manual directions for doing this vehicle. It is going to program here. This part sped up as well. So it's going to... remember how long exactly it took. It took about 10 minutes, I would say, to program this one. Not real sure why the shop would put the PCM in it. I think it was a miscommunication with the parts store, to be honest with you. We'll get over, get into that a little later. So once it programs here, we're going to get the checkered flag. Well, I guess it's not a checkered flag on this one. So it says process complete. Final instructions, there's nothing really it says you need to do. But if you follow the service manual, you'll know that you need to program the injector codes. Uh, I'm going to use the RD pad to do this. I did choose the intelligent diagnosis function. You do need uh, internet to do that. So it connects to the VCI. And hopefully it'll read the VIN because I just programmed it in there. So let it do its thing here to decode the VIN here. Hopefully it decodes it as a 2011 Chevy Silverado with a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax in it. It is a 3500. Like I say, it's got a, a flatbed on it. It's not identical to the picture on the front. 
just a stock picture on the front there. So we're going to go into diagnostics. It does identify it as a 2011 Chevy Silverado 6.6. .6. So this is an LGH, I'm assuming that's a one ton engine series. Or over 8,600, it doesn't really matter to me. I'll let it load here. Goes through a few stops here, loading up the vehicle. Nothing seems to be real fast. ID in the new vehicles for some reason. The GDS2 is a lot faster, but I think this would actually be a Tech 2 truck. I'm pretty sure it would be. I do not have Tech 2 in on this laptop, and I really didn't feel like going and grabbing something else. I had the RD pad with me, so that's what we're using. I do have Tech 2 in loaded on a different laptop. It's actually loaded on this laptop now, but it is manual air conditioning. This truck actually has crank up windows, so it's a bare bones 3500. to communicate with the truck here. It's got no trailer brake and it is over 8600 GVW. Does not have steering stability enhancement system. does have this GH7 I'm not real sure what it was but if you scroll down once we get to the glow plug control module scroll down to where it says glow plug control module injector flow rates to engine control module it's going to copy the injector flow rates from the glow plug control module and put them in the ECM like I said they already sent the ECM back I don't have a whole lot to go on on this one I'd like to write them down out of the ECM before the ECM goes back but I didn't have the opportunity on this one, so we're just going to take it this way. All right, it says it was successfully done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos like this. Thumbs up, thumbs down, questions, comments down below. Keep them clean or they get deleted. Have a great day.